Farm of Life family. How you doing? Hi, family. We are back yet again, and we've had, here we are, late rainy season now, and we've had some really amazing guests. We really have. Um, it's kind of cool, like your story, right? You just kind of came down here on a whim, right, all of a sudden. You just came, and then they've had a, a week here, and we've had a fabulous time, right? Absolutely. Um, it's been mm -hmm. awesome. I'm, I'm curious, real yeah. quick, how did you find out about us? I, I always like these stories a little bit. Well, then I have to go back to the beginning. Sorry. All right. All right. That's okay. fine. Um, so I run my own business and like any entrepreneur, you know, we think we can do an awful lot more in a day than, than we physically can. And, and it caught up on me and it was about a year and a half ago, nearly Christmas, nearly two years ago, that I finished a big campaign and literally spent the whole Christmas holidays in my bed. I couldn't get out. I was exhausted. Mm -hmm. And I knew my body was telling me, you know, stop, something's wrong. And um, I went to see my, my doctor, a naturopathic doctor, and she saw that I had um, severe adrenal gland fatigue, so burnout. Mm -hmm. yep. So we tried all sorts of things. I did lots of different herbal remedies, acupuncture, and, and it did allow me to get out of bed in the morning. But by 3 o'clock, it felt as though somebody had hit me on the head with a crowbar. And it was just willpower every day just to keep going and to keep pushing forward. Sure. I know how that feels. It's, sure. it's, it's tough and uh, it's, it's depressing. Mm -hmm. And for somebody who I was working out at the gym five days a week, running half marathons, I went from that to zero. I couldn't, I was you know, just exhausted all the time. Um, and, you know, weight started to pile on a little bit and I was losing everything that I, all the vitality I had. And, and it was really this summer that um, we started to sort of look at maybe cutting out dairy, trying to cut out gluten. Yeah, I bought every book under the sun, the wheat belly diet, the this diet, the that diet. And there's I, a lot of them out there. There's a lot of them out sure. there. And I uh, you know, tried them all, but it wasn't until we cut out um, dairy, gluten, and an all animal protein that I started to feel better. And I, it was very quickly, I started to Google this. I thought, wow, this is cold. You know, raw, a raw food diet, a plant-based diet, mm -hmm. and I can say literally overnight, by cutting out everything and just being completely plant-based, I'm a completely different person. Not right. necessarily a hundred percent, but I would say ninety percent back to where I was. That's fantastic! Yeah. Wow, it's, it's so rare to hear someone have overnight results. Yeah. You know, for me, like with my arthritis, it took six months. For Brian and his fibromyalgia, it took like a year yeah. before I started really having results. And yeah. That's it's hard. So fast, You're but... kind of running on faith for six months of really yeah. sticking to something that yeah. where you just turned yeah. around overnight. Absolutely. And, yeah. and it's exciting. Really exciting. Oh, I bet. So, you know, you can imagine I was running to, to the bookstore and buying raw cookbooks and a dehydrator <laughs> sure. and a Vitamix and a juicer, a juicer area, yeah. and, you know, there's kale uh -huh. coming out of my yin yang. <laughs> and um, yes. and it, it's, it's actually been really exciting and I've been taking mm -hmm. things into the office and try this because what I realized is it's fun and, yeah. and the food was fun. So the reason that I'm here is that uh, we, have, we always take a week before our busiest time of the year and I panicked. I thought, what am I going to do? I can't take my Vitamix. Because you've got a different diet now. And, right? I'm yeah. not going to go to a resort and I do not want to go backwards. This I'm loving the way I feel right now. It's great. And so I thought, well, Costa Rica is kind of a, an eco type of place. Yes. So I put in Costa Rica raw and I found you that way. Mm -hmm. All right. Simple. And I literally went on the website and I went, oh my God. And I go, Robbie, Robbie, you have to see this. <laughs> and I thought, I, cool. I didn't even know a place existed like this. And literally we, we sent the email to you guys that night. So, you know, Woo! it was pretty, pretty late, late notice. So, you know, when I went into the office the next time, I'm like, come and look at where I'm going. I was so excited. And, and uh, I think what I love as well is that, you know, you really want to make this accessible. You can, you can yeah. breathe the love. In, in your website and, and the passion that goes into what you do and that resonates with me too. Thanks. Mm. You know, you, you, you live, breathe and, and you, you, are, you are what, what, you, what you preach. And That's what important, you preach. right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You can't be saying one thing and then doing another. Yeah. You know, you have to kind of live it so you're a model, right? That's right. Now, you know, it, what's interesting is that, you know, we, our business is talked about, like I said, it's from the heart. It, it flows through the heart, but you have a heart-based business too, mm -hmm. right? Tell us a little yeah. bit about that. Um, so I have a face-to-face -face company called DonorWorks, and we do face-to-face -face fundraising in, in the malls primarily. So we'll set up a kiosk, and we work with child sponsorship agencies, and we literally stop people as they're shopping, 
and we encourage them to sponsor a child. Um, and it's, it's hard, you know, a lot of rejection. Um, I can imagine. But uh, it started out of my home. Um, I was working another two jobs, hence the burnout probably. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> you know, until right. you can make ends meet. But it's, sure. it, it's my soapbox to stand out there and say to people, you know what, you, you can make a difference. Even if it's one child at a time. Yep. Um, and you get so much back. You know, you, everybody says, you know, we know that to give, you get so much in return. And Huge. Now, just like you, I, I want to share what I have found. And, uh, Isn't that great? You just, is. You're staying in that electromagnetic flow of giving and receiving. Definitely. Right? So you're asking people, hey, you know, give to help these people. Yeah. And, and you're getting so much in return. Definitely. Even if it's just the heart opening of someone saying, sure, I'll do it. You know, right? Yeah, yeah it's the same thing with this business, you know? Well, there's, there's great parallels. The other parallel I see... Um, the people that work for me, I love them. You know, we hug, yeah. we kiss, we cry together, we, we dance, we sing, and we work really, really hard. And we're a family. And uh, we do anything for each other. And that's that's, great. that's what's happened here. And, you know, yep. I've, I've made friends that I'll keep forever. With, within that's a fantastic. few days, it feels like a family. You know, we're cooking together, and some people try, and I love that part. Some people try a new recipe, and we're all hovering over the pot. And, Oh, what's that? And that's right. Cut that. that what's <laughs> that fruit? And how did you make this sauce? Or uh -huh. that? you know, it's, it's it's really fun. Pharma Life Family. That's our YouTube it, channel, and, and and that's what we are. And, and yeah. you have a family too. Yeah. You know, I find that if you run a business like that, people really they have an ownership. That even if they're not part of the business, they feel like they're part of it, right? That's right. They feel like they're part of the experience. Exactly. And yeah. you know, they say that today the most successful businesses will be those run with a social conscience. Yes. You know, and and you're exactly right. Yep. And if you, I believe very much that if you, one, if you believe in something and you really believe in something, you'll get it. Yes. And two, if you focus on making everyone else successful, success will follow. That's right. It will, it will happen. And, Absolutely. And if it doesn't, you'll have a lot of fun getting there. Yeah, right? exactly. <laughs> so, yep. Sarah, if people want to learn more about your charity business? Yeah, sure. Right. And we're always looking to hire people. So, it's uh, donorworks.com. So, that's D O N O R. W O R X dot com, and uh, yeah, we've got a great blog, and we're on Twitter and doing all sorts of fun things, buying goats and sending them off to communities. And you hire all That's over fantastic. Canada, or Canada and the United States. Yep. Okay. So we're we're always looking for people who have a big heart. Um, want to get there's, there's a lot of people what? subscribe to us, right? Who have big hearts. That's oh the, yeah, there's the a lot of I'm people. And if out. you're looking for a job that aligns with you, if you're from the heart and you're looking to like really gain more in that. You know, allowing people going out and seeing if you can get people to, you know, to fundraise yeah. for projects like feeding feeding poor children, yeah, right? Absolutely. Sponsorship. We work with World Vision Canada, World Vision US, Save the Children. At the moment, uh, Canadian National Institute for the Blind, and it changes in different seasons. But yeah, check us out, and you'll see where we're. Where absolutely. We're you want to make your heart sing? <laughs> work for them. And then come here. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And yeah, and well, Sarah, amazing. thanks thanks so much well, thank you. It's, for it's, being here. It's been an amazing journey, and we'll be back, that's for sure. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. I know. We'll see you again. Yeah, right. here's to staying healthy, too. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. We'll see you, Farmer Life family. Much love. Bye-bye.